Hello again. I'm the Plaguera from the University of Cantabria. I'm going to present this uh, work in, on behalf of my colleagues, Pedro Ficero, uh, Marco Sanchez, and um, Bob Hill. And it is petition title from firing approaches from very critical laws and between the uh, graphing reports to PLA, place containing. So, well, we are going to do an introduction, uh, review the material that we are used for these uh, test campaigns. The methodology that we have used to analyze the presentation in this table, uh, I have a survey of uh, different programs that have been developed from the last uh, two years. Uh, we have used the theory of physical vision, uh, assessment diagrams, uh, and the average training in energy density. Uh, then I'm going to show you the result and finally the conclusion. So uh, we have been building uh, uh, polymers. Uh, you see a uh, full set of position modeling that they are, you know, already used for prototyping, but now it's that it uh, needs to be useful as a structural uh, component. So we have to uh, study the spread ratio, uh, for example, the noxies, that, that we know is a characteristic of the structural integrity. So uh, we have evaluated. Uh, this uh, material using three different methodologies. The theory of critical distance uh, on one side with the line method and valid assessment diagrams, on the other side with the point mode method, and finally with the average uh, string energy density. Well, as you know, we are studying these factor me mechanics, but not uh, are not the uh, cracks. They don't have the same behavior, so this is why. The, we have to develop this uh, tool to study the comfort, the behavior of uh, nodes, uh, because we have this different uh, stress field at the node field. This is the characteristic of the material, the grant choice for the PLA. We manufacture it with this following with condition, with this uh, first deposit of modeling. All the expression of this, you know, I'm looking for printing and what. It is important is that the idea of uh, graphing with have this increase. Uh, the, the idea of graphing, we, we compare it with the testing play the PLA. We have this increase on mechanical processing. In fact, we have a higher um, ultimate strain, and we have this more facility on uh, behaviors. And on the other hand, we, we have this go to an elastic uh, uh, behavior too. So we're going to be better for our analysis. And well, we performed this uh, test campaign on 39 tests. Uh, all our uh, slaves with at least uh, 15 unit specimen and six uh, B notch specimen with different nominal rating, nominal notch rating, uh, nominal specimen words, three uh, specimen thickness, and different nominal. Well, this is an example of the testing setup uh, where we performed with the sort of a specimen. Some of the tests include that we have been with these uh, different plates and a picture of the factor surface that we have in the, in the In this case, we can see many different uh, factor mechanisms that are during this kind of activity. <coughs> well, uh, as all of you know, this uh, theory of critical distance is uh, an abundant cloud to that use two parameters for the critical distance and the minimum strength. And this is um, parameter are related, so we can obtain the inner end strength uh, by a calibration, and then we can uh, calculate the critical distance. So, and we have these three methodologies the point method that is referred to the a half of the critical distance, where we have the inner end strength, and the line method this is related with the few critical distance, and where we have this inner end strength. Well, on the other hand, we have this uh, engineering tool that uh, led us to the plastic collapse, pl uh, plastic collapse and plastic mechanics in, in the same way. So we have this uh, way to obtain this uh, stress and factor and plastic tokens, and we can locate this uh, coordinate with the uh, in an unsafe uh, area over the value line and in a, in a safe uh, area under the parameter. And the other criterion is the average strength energy density. And 
the failure of food is the average value in the industrial extreme energy within a central local area is equal to a critical value. So what we can end this criterion with this energy top of the of this uh of this uh critical uh, value we are having to to control the capacity. Well, the first result using the theory of critical distance with the line methodology and the failure of the diagram, uh, we can see that all the solar are factored uh, over the state line. So we have this result in a good way. And what we can observe is that they are relative, the estimated load for, for this methodology is, is relatively conservative and always in the second, almost always in the second. Uh, the other methodology that we use is this point uh, method. Um, we apply this procedure with this finite element analysis to know the effect uh, Latin of tip and um, applying an arbitrary law. We calculate the tension for the arbitrary law and this has uh, the critical distance. We, have reverse, uh, we, have a, we apply a proportional to know how is the Inner and strength, uh, we have calculated these arbitrary strengths, and this way we can obtain the critical load for this specimen. And finally, uh, the other methodology is the average uh, image density criterion, and we have these uh, average values for different uh, specimens, and all of them are inside of the 20% of variability, so it's a good approximation to. To the experiment office. Comparing the three methodologies, uh, we can see that all of them have this uh, good uh, approximation around the between the experimental um, loads and the critical loads that we are then using different uh, methodologies. In this case, we are having the result of you know some not radial for one millimeters. Um, we can see that we have this weather I assume in, with the white radiation is uh, in order. For the other ones so with this value of uh, 1.3 millimeters, we have in the same condition. So again, we have this uh, uh, very close uh, fitting. And finally, the best uh, relation between experimental uh, prediction are with a uh, uh, phenox. Uh, uh, and um, the conclusion is that we are analyzing the factor load in successive positive memory and thinking scaffolded from PLA, plane containing U nodes and B nodes. We are we have the comparative of the three methodologies, and three methodologies we consider that can be valid to estimate the critical loads of this material. In the case of linear model, the linear method, we have a safe and conservative result. And in this case, we have this uh, bit difference between u notes and b notes. In the case of u notes, it's more conservative. And the average uh, rate between estimate and experimental method is 0.73. For volume method, we have the overestimation of 11% uh, in the number of prediction and in an unsafe condition. And finally, for the asset uh, criterion, we have the accurate estimation and the Average is um, 3.98. So thank you for your attention.